far as the eye can see. Eight years ago, we led the charge in beating them and driving them away. During that time, their little band has destroyed us on the battlefield, converted our greatest leaders. And tomorrow, they'll enter and make this city their own. A Muslim city. How could this happen if God was not with them? Where are you, Abu Sufyan? What kept you? Did you find my husband? None of the men have seen him, mistress. Where is he? The Muslims will attack in the morning. There's panic in the streets. I'll lead the fight. But, mistress... Gather every man, woman, and child who has the courage to fight for Mecca. I will lead them. Go! Hind! Oh, mistress... I... Find your master's sword and bring it to me. Don't just stand there. Go! Mistress... They're returning to their homes, not seeking revenge and bloodshed. The sword! Now! Please, mistress, no more bloodshed. What do you care if Muslims are slaughtered? I said... Because I... am a Muslim. By the gods, you shall die. By God, I shall live. For once in my life, I am proud of who I am. But your beliefs say a woman is worthless. The idol gods will rejoice at your death. The idol gods feel nothing. They are dead, and your faith in them has brought evil to Mecca. I am a slave in this house. Because when my husband died, your way said I was not worthy to inherit a mouthful of bread. All my belongings were given to someone else, and I was sold like one of my husband's camels. And when my baby girl was born, she was taken away. Because to the idol worshippers, only baby boys are worth keeping. So the girls are given back to the idols. Taken. Sacrificed. And you think women are treated any better in Islam? I know they are. They are honored and revered. Fool! Muhammad has tricked you. These are just words. Yes, words of the Holy Quran. Words that every Muslim is bound to live by. I'll tell you how one of these passages came to pass. A few years ago, in Yathrib, there was a woman named Nusiba. Ready? Only three arrows now, one after the other. Go! Nusiba, this is a game for men. Why? Well, it, it, it just is. Now, shoot. <laughs> Women are just as valuable as men. So the prophet says. But it is not written. And if it's not written in the Quran, then, well... Messenger of God, Nusiba has come to see you. <sighs> Messenger of God, I am troubled. I see everything is for men alone, and I do not see that women are mentioned at all.
Nusiba. Bara? Did you hear? God has given a new revelation to the prophet. It defends women and says they share equal rights and responsibilities with men. It is written. Ah! Oh. Lies! A woman who shoots arrows like a man and a prophet who takes her counsel? It's true. A lie, I say! Uh. Don't you know that Muhammad will say anything to take this city away from Abu Sufyan and me? There's no revelation and no Nusiba. Ask your husband. He has met her. It happened years before. Bara, I want you to take me to Mecca with you. Nusiba, a woman... I know, a woman cannot travel alone with a company of men. Yes, it is improper. That's what you said two years ago. It's still true. I won't miss out on it again. Bara, all I want is to meet the Prophet. You know how long I've waited. If you could find a companion, maybe. Oh, I've tried, Bara. And? They're afraid of the Meccans. They think we'll be beaten or worse. It is a possibility, Nusiba. I don't care. Listen, God willing, the Prophet will return with us and live here. You'll see him then. And if he doesn't? I'm sorry, Nusiba. You'll have to find a companion. <sighs> Nusiba. There is a woman here in Yathrib who recently became a Muslim. Her name is Unhani. Maybe if you went to her, you... Regret this, Umhani, I promise you. Oh, I know. I can't wait to see the Prophet. Shh. Not everyone in this caravan is a Muslim. If they knew why we were going, it uh, could be dangerous. Going to meet with the prophet uh, at night. <laughs> when the Muslims arrived at the hill Al Aqaba, they finally met the prophet face to face. One of his uncles, Al Abbas, spoke to the group. He warned them, "You say you want Muhammad to live among you." You say you will give him protection, but you have no idea what will happen to you now. You will be hated. You will be forced to fight. You will be without peace until God decides otherwise. Do you still desire to take him in? Even if we lose all our possessions and our most noble men are slain, we will take him in. Then the covenant was made. That night, each Muslim gave their pledge to the Prophet, including Nusiba, who you say does not exist. The next day, your husband heard about the secret meeting. Quraysh. What's, what's going on? Where is this caravan headed? Back to Yathrib. Is something wrong? Last night, some of you held a secret meeting with Muhammad. We held no secret meeting. You made a promise to him. What was it? Wealth? Power? An army to overthrow Mecca? Nothing. Ah, but you did meet with him. We met uh, with no one. We came to worship the gods. You think you can lie to me? Yeah. There is a punishment for liars in Mecca! <laughs> Here is a woman who cannot hide her guilt. Tell me what you know, woman. 
you or her, it doesn't matter to me. So long as I get the truth. Why did you meet with Muhammad? Speak! Speak! If you have lied, there will be no mercy! He should have killed her. And he should have killed Muhammad before he left this city. You tried, but God would not allow it. Even you should remember that. Assassins surrounded his house, but when they rushed in, he was not there, even though no one saw him leave. Where is he? He's gone to that traitor, Abu Bakr, no doubt. What's the meaning of this? Step aside, Esma. I will not step aside! Where is he? Where is who? Your father and Mohammed. My father is traveling, but when he returns and finds that you have dead... <laughs> That's what I think of your father. There's no one here but the boy. Let go of me! What have you done to her? It's all right. I know they're together. Tell me where they are. Tell me! I have nothing to tell you. Keep an eye on her. I know I'm doing the right thing. I will risk everything for the Prophet and Father, but oh, I am scared. They're still watching me. It won't be easy. You aren't still thinking of going to them, are you? Have you looked up there lately? There must be a thousand men looking for them. I must go. No one can be trusted with the secret of their hiding place. Asma, they need food and water. And I will take it to them. It's too dangerous. They only hit you this time. But next time, who knows what they'll do. Nothing will change my mind. I'm going to them. That's a lot of water for two women. She knows where they're hiding. <laughs> and she's going to lead us right to them. Go this way. Come on!
So, Esma helped in the escape of Mohammed. Thank God she did. If Muhammad hadn't escaped, my father and brother would still be alive. His armies, his uncle, murdered them. No one is murdered in battle, Hind. Hamza didn't want to fight your father and brother. How dare you lecture me about the death of my dear ones. It isn't wise to smother your grief, Hind. You must mourn with the rest. I will not give the Muslims that satisfaction. No. I will not mourn until I have killed Hamza. Five dinars! Says he can't hit them all! I'll take that bad! <laughs> Buy your freedom for just such a throw in battle at a man called Hamza. There, talking to the soldiers. The Prophet says you must not leave this hill, whether we're winning or losing. You must not let them attack from the rear. Muhammad will fall just the same. You think you can kill Muhammad? There isn't a man, woman, or child who wouldn't give their life to save him. You couldn't even kill him at a hood when you outnumbered the Muslims three to one. <laughs> Muhammad, he's hurt! What? Stay with us, O messenger of God. Surround him! No, Nusiba, get back! I won't let them hurt the prophet! Ah! Go, Nusiba! Never! Muhammad saw her courage and called for someone to give her a shield. She was wounded many times, but she helped keep the Prophet alive, and she lived to tell the story. These are just the stories of two women, but Islam is filled with stories of women who have sacrificed everything. And why? Because Muhammad has revealed the truth about us. We are not weak possessions. We are not weak and silent creatures sitting around the edge of this great movement. I'd rather die with this knowledge than live without it. Then so it shall be. <gasps> you Muslims have taken everything from me, but you cannot take away my hate. I will fight until either I die or the last Muslim is dead! This will no longer be a house of violence. But she must die! She admitted to being a Muslim! She must be killed, not coddled! If she must be killed, then so must I! For I too am a Muslim. Don't 
you see, Hind? We weren't fighting for anything pure and lasting. It was power we sought, earthly power. But we will never gain a thing until we surrender to God. Complete surrender to the one and only God. Traitor! No! Will you stand by and watch while the Muslims kill the rest of us? The Muslims have promised to enter in peace. <laughs> oh, what a fool you are, Abu Sufyan. You believe this only because you are too great a coward to fight. Well, I'm not. I'm not! I hope you can forgive us. You are free. and begged for battle. But they offered their hands and helped me to my feet. Hind, all that's left for us is to choose a way of goodness. The way of Islam. How? How can we suddenly turn against everything we've ever known? Everything we've ever lived and died for? How can we not? We cannot go on living a lie after the truth spares us, then bids us to follow. Resist God's will. Now I know there is no God but God, and Muhammad is his prophet. 